Uh, hello, Nemanja. Uh, thank you for joining us today to share your experience about teaching English in China. It's nice to see you. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about your experience. And I'll start with uh, just can you please introduce yourself a little bit, how old you are, where you teach right now, and how long you are in China? Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Nemanja. Uh, I am 29 years old and I'm currently uh, uh, teaching in Nanshan. Um, so far this has been uh, quite an experience for me uh, and uh, so far I pretty much like it. Great. Well, uh, how did you decide to come to China in the first place uh, and why did you decide to come specifically to China? Uh, well, uh, in the first place, I was actually uh, uh, wanting to be a teacher uh, of English, like uh, to uh, teach uh, online, uh, to teach kids, and uh, I've actually applied for a couple of jobs, uh, got some responses, and I got some offers, but um, I, I always wanted to, to go abroad if I ever get a chance. So one day, um, when I was uh, reading my offer from uh, companies that I would work online to, uh, for, uh, I got an ad from uh, work and travel and uh, work and live in China, pardon. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I decided, like, well, I always wanted to go abroad, so like, why don't I apply and see where it, where it goes, you know, where it leads me to? Uh, so I did. Uh, I filled out the form, sent my introduction video, uh, got a call back, and in, uh, like another interview, and here, here I am today. Okay, great. And uh, actually, did you have any choice in terms of other companies? And if yes, what made you choose specifically work and live in China? Uh, well, uh, specifically to, to go abroad, I have not uh, actually applied for any other company except uh, work and live in China. Uh, but I've had some uh, offers from other companies where I would work uh, at home. And it wasn't a, it weren't bad offers, but you know this is a totally different kind of experience. It's nowhere near uh, uh, experience with where you would you would um, teach from your home. Uh, you this is my way of uh, you know just trying to you know live on my own from from scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, actually, what kind of support uh, was provided to you by work living in China f from the very start of your application until your arrival to China? Can you describe the process a little bit? Uh, yes. The, well, the first thing that um, I was told, like, what kind of documents do I need? Um, and uh, uh, I've got a list uh, on which I followed to the letter. Uh, from uh, getting my documents, from booking the ticket, uh, and everything else, pretty much almost almost packing. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it wasn't it wasn't hard or anything. Yeah, you just need to stick to the list. That's what that's what I've learned so far. Uh, and uh, don't forget anything because once you once you leave your country, it's gonna be a bit difficult to, to if you forgot something, it's gonna be difficult for you to get because you're too far away and you're gonna need to um, uh, ask somebody from family and that, that usually doesn't go as fast as you would do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, as for your arrival, like, uh, can you describe your first days in China? What happened? Uh, where uh, you were for those couple of days and what was the process? Yes, well, as soon as I arrived uh, to um, China, to airport in uh, Beijing, uh, I was uh, welcomed by um, a driver that a uh, company uh, mm -hmm. work in live in China sent for me, uh, who drove me to uh, a hotel uh, where I stayed for about three days. Um, and that's actually where I also had my uh, interview for the for the job, uh, mm -hmm. where I, where I spoke to the teacher from uh, the school I'm employed right now, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it wasn't it wasn't uh, as uh, easy as somebody would expect. Even though there is you know uh, you have knowledge of English mm -hmm. and English is you know world language uh, because. 
China is not like other places that you've experienced because um, uh, it wasn't as open as many um, some other places. So uh, those who do, do not know uh, Chinese language won't have an easy, easy, easy start like those first two, three days. But uh, when you go through those first through that first week, everything gets a lot easier. Yeah, it's very easy to to learn how to get a bus, how to get a subway. Uh, everything else, taxi, it's very, very simple. As long as you um, uh, and install a couple apps on your phone, everything else goes pretty smooth. What, what kind of apps do you usually use right now in China? Uh, right now in China, I use uh, an app for navigation that it's called AMAP. Uh, you can find, like, if you type in, like, McDonald's or Burger King or Subway, it's going to show you the, the, the nearest places. It's, it's going to be in Chinese, which is a little bit uh, difficult, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as long as you, you have previous knowledge of, about, like, maybe uh, maps, Google Maps, it's very, very, very easy to get around with. And that app actually helps you. You can order a, a taxi over it. You can find the nearest uh, uh, bus station uh, to the place where you need to go, where your home is or where your work is or maybe a shopping mall. Mm -hmm. Everything, pretty much everything. It's, it's, if it was in English, it would be way better than Google Maps, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. And can you tell uh, more about your first week in the school? Uh, what happened during that week, and how is the teaching process going? Yeah, well, uh, the first uh, first week in school, I uh, actually did not uh, do classes on my own. I was pretty much listening to uh, other uh, teachers that were uh, having their classes, uh, and I was pretty much uh, trying to pay attention what they do, how do they. Uh, calm the kids if they're a little, you know, uh, not behaving according to class. Uh, if they want to play a little bit more, how, like, pretty much uh, everything. And it's, uh, uh, to me, uh, at, f at first I thought that it's going to be uh, maybe, maybe difficult because I haven't worked with kids before. But um, in, it, in fact, turns out that it's very, very easy and uh, kids, uh, uh, if, if you do not put on your strict face, kids were, will pretty much always be uh, uh, on their best behavior. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, pretty much that first week was pretty much my training sessions. And how old are the kids that you're teaching? Uh, kids are usually from uh, three to nine. Mm -hmm. Average is of course six, uh, but uh, so far the most kids that I had uh, on my classes were around five or six years, mm -hmm. five and a half. They, when you ask them how old they are, they will tell you if they're five and a half or six and a half or six. Mm -hmm. Like they will tell you pretty much exactly how much how old they are. Great. Well, uh, can you tell more about your impression of China uh, during the first month? Maybe something that was kind of a cultural shock or something that is drastically different from where you are um, and specifically in, in the cultural aspect. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, um, the culture world, well, uh, they are not, uh, they, they don't, how would I put it? Um, they are very friendly, and if they see you on the street, uh, and if they know how to say hello in English, they will do it. And uh, yeah, any foreigner that comes in here, they 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 will look at him like, wow! They they they, they would be just thrilled to see you, uh, which which can be you know um, uh, can be as a compliment to you, like. You will feel welcome everywhere. Wherever you go, you will be. You will feel welcome. Um, however, uh, the thing that it surprised me, uh, for example, uh, uh, back at home, like we when we see our friends or somebody who, who we know for a while, mm -hmm. and you know we give him uh, give them a casual hug, that would be totally fine. But in here, it's a bit, you know, maybe taboo to to, to say it like that. Uh, not that it's. Uh, impossible to to find somebody who's as open uh, as, as you are from coming from maybe western uh, countries uh, but it's uh, it's not as common uh, in here as well, in other countries yeah, you cannot hug a stranger like 
just a stranger. Maybe if you know a person for like a couple of weeks, then maybe you can hug, right? Mm, maybe, but not, to, to be honest, not, not so far. Uh, it's it would be a no go. But further down the road, I believe that uh, that would be okay. But uh, have you tried not for, for, until you meet a person uh -huh. uh, on the long way, like in private? Then then it's fine. But like everything else is. Uh, don't, don't 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 try it, or you, uh, they they will feel feel um, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, as for Chinese food, have you already tried some some uh, traditional Chinese uh, food, and do you like it or uh, do you not like it? Uh, well, uh, I've tried a few dishes, but uh, I I I didn't like it. Um, my taste buds don't like it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, however. Uh, um, uh, it, it, for anybody who who uh, wants to come in China, I would recommend definitely uh, if you have some spices that you eat at home a lot, you should definitely bring as much as you can in China because it, it would be a bit difficult to find them, especially if you're not, uh, for example, from America. Uh, Americans eat very sweet food, and they can find a lot of that in here. But from uh, the rest of the world, it's from the rest of the Western countries, it's a bit, it's a bit more difficult to find uh, proper spices that that you specifically like. You will need to do a lot of exploring uh, for that. So that's my recommendation. That I learned that uh, the hard way. So. Um, that would be my recommendation uh, if you plan on uh, making your own food in here mm -hmm. most of the time. Great. Uh, can you tell more about your apartment that, that you got as part of a teaching job uh, and if you like it or not like it? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, well, uh, my apartment is uh, on the 17th floor and it has a beautiful view to uh, on a river uh, and the Nanshan Bridge and every, uh, like during the night everything is lit and everything is very, very beautiful. Uh, probably uh, whoever was in the United States, maybe San Francisco or New York, they would feel like they're in New York because everything is uh, lit, lights everywhere. Uh, the Nanshan which is also lit, who reminds very much to uh, the bridge in San Francisco, and it's, it's very nice. Uh, my apartment is a one-bedroom apartment, of course. It has a nice bathroom. It's not, it's not small by any means. Um, it has a one king-size bed, uh, a fridge, a stove, um, a table with four chairs, and there is a lot in when I say a lot, I mean a lot of room for uh, your clothing. Uh, you probably won't be able to bring nowhere near uh, enough clothes to, to fill it up, uh, but you will have also a difficult time filling it in in here. Like You will need to buy a lot of clothes to, 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 to be able to fit in it. So it's very, very big. Great. Uh, as, for, um, as for your free time, what do you usually do out of classes and how do you spend your leisure time? Well, so far, um, when I'm not having classes, uh, I usually do, uh, go exploring around my uh, apartment to see, um, uh, to find this, maybe some new uh, supermarkets or little shops where I can find uh, snacks that I like or something like that. Mm -hmm. or. Um, uh, I go for a walk. For me, uh, for example, me because I'm uh, very, very close to the river, pretty much five minutes away from uh, uh, riverbank. Uh, I usually go there uh, on, on uh, nice uh, sunny days. I go there and walk mm -hmm. because it's very, very pleasant and people are very, very pleasant. So, mm -hmm. and China is very, very safe. You will never, ever feel unsafe anywhere. But, uh, I feel safer in here than uh, in. In my country, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Uh, so my last question would be for for those who still hesitate or plan to come to China, uh, like considering this experience anyway. What would you recommend? Uh, doing this or not doing this, or maybe something, some advice that you can give to those who uh, plan to come to China. Uh, well, my advice is uh, do it because. Um, uh, doing things on your own, even if you don't do not plan to, on doing this for uh, like for a very long time, maybe do it for one year. Uh, you will definitely not regret it.
because it is one very very good experience. You will uh, get to meet a foreign uh, foreign country that that it's pretty much uh, unknown mm -hmm. to 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 most of the people. Even though the Ch China is the most popular country in the world, uh, it's it's just place like no other. Okay. Uh, the people are very nice. That uh, that's that was a very very a very nice surprise to me, and uh, yeah, definitely do it. Uh, just come prepared. Don't uh, don't rush into things. So prepare your papers. Don't forget anything, which is number one. Uh, prepare. Uh, get your uh, money for the first month. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Uh, if you can learn a couple uh, phrases in in Chinese, uh, if not, it will come to you by time. And here, uh, you will feel the need to. Uh, if you're going to to, uh, to a shop, you will feel the need to learn. Okay, I want to learn how to to, to ask uh, a salesman uh, how much is this, or uh, can I pay with cash, or something that, like, like that similar. Uh, to me, Chinese, Chinese is not going that well, uh, but I can't say that I've tried too much, to be honest. Uh, um, for this first month, I've actually just learned to say hello and uh, uh, good uh, and um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, great, thank you for sharing this uh, valuable experience of your teaching in China. It was nice talking to you, a uh, very like profound information on, on your stay. So uh, we will place this on our website. Thank you for, for your time today.